Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And this will be a big deal for T-Mobile. We now have official dates on when this will take place. This was discussed during T-Mobile's Analyst Day. At that time, they didn't give any specific dates on when they would launch. Well, it is here. As you can see by the title, T-Mobile and Metro by T-Mobile coming to Walmart. So what T-Mobile essentially is doing here, and I'll add more context to this as to how big this is for T-Mobile, they're essentially doubling their retail distribution overnight, so to speak. It would take far longer to get retail locations in these markets individually on an individual basis if they had to add in their own retail locations that means you have to go around the town you have to look for for leases you have to look for proper locations uh, good buildings if you've been in retail if you've been in sales there is no better location than a walmart most places, retail locations, they always look for what they what they call an anchor store. And usually Walmart is a big anchor store because it brings huge traffic and volume to any given area that a Walmart is in. So that's why you usually see expansion of retail or any business surrounding a Walmart because Walmart is considered the anchor store. So instead of building around a Walmart, looking for leasing, T-Mobile said, we're just going to go into Walmart. We're just going to go inside. So they're essentially overnight doubling their footprint. So before I, get any, before I go any further, I wanted to add more context as to how big this could be for T-Mobile. So during the standalone era of T-Mobile and Sprint, and this was during LTE when both were competing. Sprint was competing against T-Mobile, T-Mobile against Sprint, and then, of course, both of them against AT&T and Verizon. The biggest concern John had when he was the CEO, it was not Sprint's network. It was not their spectrum position. It was, and I got this from a very reliable source, their biggest concern was when Sprint struck the third-party deal for distribution with Radio Shack. That got T-Mobile's attention because that essentially would mean Sprint would have massive, massive more distribution footprint than T-Mobile. If you guys remember, Radio Shack had a store on every corner. Every half a mile, there was a Radio Shack. And with that third-party deal, Sprint got in a lot of those stores. They were able to now be in malls, in bigger malls that Sprint never had an actual retail location. But Radio Shack did. And Sprint now got into those stores. So that's essentially what T-Mobile's biggest concern about Sprint was. It was not their massive spectrum holdings in the 2.5. It was not the network. It was that distribution deal. So I can guarantee you this distribution deal has AT&T and Verizon on notice. They're alert. They have this in their run rate. They're looking at how could this negatively impact their business. So it's going to be, just to briefly touch on this, I'll leave this in the description down below so you guys could check it out. T-Mobile will now have retail presence in 2,300 Walmart stores. These are, these are going to be select stores. And then, of course, Walmart.com will also display... Uh, T-Mobile advertising as well and, and, and its plans. So how this essentially is going to take place, October 18th, you will be able to start shopping Metro by T-Mobile inside of a Walmart retail locations and online. November 1st, you'll be able to shop T-Mobile's postpaid brand, Magenta Max, phones inside of these Walmart retail locations. So just keep in mind, previously... T-Mobile was not in Best Buy. T-Mobile wasn't in Walmart. Now they're in both. This is 1,000 Best Buy stores and 2,300 Walmart stores. Again, doubling its retail distribution. That's massive. So that means in these locations, T-Mobile 
bolstered the network. They're growing the network. Sprint keep sites are being worked on. The network expansion itself is happening. 10,000 new sites will be put in the ground by rough estimates of 2024. Of course, we'll, we'll see them go in the ground, some this year, some next year, some in 2023. But again, you have to give it time. It's not going to happen overnight. They closed the merger 18 months ago. They've been busy. They, be, they have been busy building that anchor network. They had to build that anchor network due to the migrations. They want most of the customers migrated by 2023. 80 plus percent now sprint traffic is already going over the T-Mobile core network. So they're working very quickly, very swiftly. Increasing that distribution footprint is going to bring massive, massive competition to AT&T and Verizon. I mean, massive. They're going to be able to compete in areas now where they've previously never had any, any retail presence. They're not going to be able to compete. And trust me, you're going to start seeing magenta all over Walmart, especially in that electronic section. They're going to go big. That's how they do it. They're marketing. They're going to go on a local marketing blitz wherever they're located in that Walmart. They're going to do it big. They, that's T-Mobile's MO. They go big on marketing. So just a quick recap. October 18th, you'll be able to shop Metro by T-Mobile at Walmart. November 1st, T-Mobile postpaid Magenta Max. Any plan they offer, Netflix on us, Apple TV Plus free for a year, you'll be able to shop it, shop at the Walmarts on those dates. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Again, I think this is a big deal. As I mentioned, this was also a big deal to T-Mobile when Sprint struck that big third-party deal with Radio Shack. So be on the lookout for more competition. If you have been on the channel or you are new to the channel and you have not yet liked, shared, subscribed, make sure you do so. Hit that notification bell so you are notified when I do upload content. Make sure to follow my social media outlets, especially my Twitter. The videos are going on the Twitter there. If you so want to push notifications there, I know YouTube falls behind on pushing out notifications. Thanks again for watching. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. I will see you in the next one. Peace.